It's springtime, and you might be thinking spring cleaning around your house, maybe even in your office. But I'm curious, have you thought about spring cleaning for your QuickBooks? Because it's common that after tax time, you realize you have a bunch of mistakes that you're like, I don't want those anymore. I want to get them fixed. Hi, I'm Candace Camfer, if we've never met before. And I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence. And if you've been thinking about advancing your skills and learning about how to clean up mistakes in QuickBooks, you are in the right place. I'm actually hosting a special training and I wanted to share with you what to be looking for in your QuickBooks to know if you have mistakes. Okay, so we're going to do a whole class on it, but let's do a quick little look around right now. So for desktop users, I will be teaching both desktop and online on the class. We're going to be looking at things like vendors. Remember, vendors are the people and places you spend money. Also, your independent contractors when you're buying supplies. You want to make sure that the only amounts that it shows O's in here are who you actually owe money to. And then under customers is another area that we're gonna be checking. I'm gonna show you how to pull reports and different ways to be checking this. But this is where you're gonna go if to see who owes you money. And if you're a nonprofit, this might say donors. Is that all that's in there? If you're like, oh no, I know I have mistakes. Or maybe you're not even sure how to check, then this class is for you. We're also gonna be covering the bank account, okay? For those of you who are online, I did not forget about you. We will be doing the online classes as well, all right? so. Let me bring up online. I'll show you kind of where we'll be clicking around and also how to register for the class. So when you're in here, you'll notice that we're going to be covering areas related to vendors. Is the balance in here just who you actually owe? We're going to be also looking at customers and banking. So if you've been having issues with undeposited funds or when you're in your banking center, you're finding you have duplicates. I'm going to cover why that happens as well as if you've been doing journal entries to fix mistakes and then the mistakes are still there, whether you're using desktop or online, it's because journal entries is not the best strategy for these types of mistakes. I'm going to be sharing with you other ways that you can fix them. But first, what we want to focus on is identifying if we even have the mistakes in QuickBooks, okay? So let me share with you if you even have mistakes to identify or what to be doing to fix them. You can join me on a special workshop that I'm doing. You can go to candiscamper.com. Yes, this is going to be a live class. So come here and register, save your seat. If for any reason you can't attend live, we will send you a limited time replay. Remember, we're going to be covering if you have mistakes, the best reports. Yes, not just in the actual centers that we were talking talking about here where we're going to look at them but the actual reports that you can pull on a consistent basis so that you don't miss them as well as what's causing the mistakes to happen so you can avoid them in the future and why as i shared journal entries are not the best strategy i will be doing a live q a and i can't wait to see you there if you're new here and you want to get my tips and tricks every single week you have two options one don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well as you can go up above or down below to get our tips and tricks sent to you directly and don't forget to register for our cleaning up quickbooks workshop again you can go to canscanford.com forward slash cleanup or you can go up above or down below and i look forward to seeing you on our workshop let me know in the comments what are you most excited to learn all right have an amazing day talk to you soon bye can't wait to help you clean up your quickbooks Thank mm -hmm. you.